Hey guys, Erin here with another episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to use your knife tool in a silhouette cameo. Knife tool is really cool because it can do a couple of different things. The first thing it's really used for is when you have an image that's way too big for your cutting mat. Or even if you're not using a cutting mat because, as you know, you can only cut something with a width of 12 inches. You can cut just about as long as you want, but 12 inches is as wide as you're getting. So a lot of people will use the knife tool to cut different parts of the image so that they can put it together on, let's say, a giant wall mural as a puzzle piece because they have all these different cuts that you can't see because you're just putting the, the vinyl right up next to each other. So a quick way to show you that is by grabbing your knife tool, which can be found at the lower left hand of, the, of your screen, and selecting straight. And if you have the business edition, you'll probably have more cuts on this one. I just have the basic edition on my laptop. So I just have these four cuts. And, but straight is what you're going to use the most anyway. So if you take your knife tool and you go through the word, it will split it in half where you made your cut. I'm just going to grab a part of it just to show you really quick. Now there are other cuts, knives, I'm sure you saw. So with Polly, every time you click your mouse, that is going to be a different edit point. And then you see the red dot here. It has to touch the red dot that you started with to finish it and make your cuts. Now you can see, and I'll zoom in for you so you can see the cut lines. Everywhere that we stopped with the mouse, it made a special cut. This would be really cool to use as um, distressing a word or an image if you wanted to do it that way. So I'm just going to get out of that really quick. The other one is curve. And that one just curves wherever you click the mouse. And again, your two red dots have to touch. And just zoom in for you again. So you can see where that curved. And just back out again. Then you have freehand, which is you just moving the mouse and doing whatever your heart desires. The crazier you get with the freehand, or anyone really, it can take longer for the image to cut and come back. As you can see, freehand can be very messy. <laughs> but again, for a distressed look, it wouldn't matter. I want to show you another really cool thing that you can do. Well, first let me show you one more thing with straight. If you just click, you can move it any which way. But if you hold the shift key and then go, doesn't matter which way your mouse moves, that line is going to stay perfectly straight for you. That way you don't really have to worry about getting a straight line because, you know, your hand's a little shaky and moving. Okay, so anyway, let me show you a really cool thing that you can do. Sometimes you want to do an image with, let's say, three different colors, or you want to use colors that start with, like, I don't know, let's say hot pink, and then a regular pink, and then a baby pink. But it's really hard to do something like that with just on one word unless you buy a specialty vinyl for it. Well, if you use the knife tool and you use straight, you can actually do something like that yourself by just splitting the word up. And that one was not where I wanted it to go. Like so. We'll do the same thing just down here really quick. So now that I've split this up, if I wanted to, I could take the top letters and we'll make them hot pink and then these middle ones we'll make them a lighter pink and then this bottom one We'll make it this baby pink. This 
so forth and so on. Let's go with like this dark teal colorish color. Oops, that's not the same. And then you would just group the similar colors together, obviously, so that you can cut it. But you see how you get that nice faded look? So you can do that without spending a lot of money on a specialty vinyl because you're basically making it yourself and just using the different vinyls colors that you already have. I mean, that makes a lot more sense to you guys, right? Okay, guys, that's the knife tool. I hope it helps. I hope it answers some questions that I have been getting. Um, I really like this little trick that a lot of people don't know about or don't even use or think about using. So let me know if you used it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my page. And if you hit that bell for notifications, you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video. How awesome is that? Until next time, guys, happy crafting.